Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply and divide integers. Yes, you heard it right. Pinagsama ko na yung video natin on how to multiply and divide integers. And for sure, you're done watching our videos on how to add and subtract integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So ang reason kasi guys, bakit pinagsama ko yung dalawang videos natin or dalawang lessons natin sa multiplying and dividing integers dahil magkaparehas lang yung ways o yung setup ng answers nila o yung rules nila. Pero again, don't get me wrong. Magkaiba sila ng operation pero yung rules nila ay parehas. Now let's go with the rules. Yung rules natin, it talks about the signs of the two different integers kapag minumultiply or dinidivide natin. The first rule ay yung mag-focus tayo kapag parehas yung sign. What? First, in multiplying integers with same sign. Okay, same sign. So, sir, paano yung sinasabi yung same sign? If one integer is positive and the other is positive, when you multiply them, the answer is always positive. Sir, what if one is negative and the other is negative? Same answer. The sign of the product is always positive. So, tatandaan niya, kapag nag-multiply kayo ng same sign, like positive and positive, negative and negative, the product is always positive. And sir, how about dividing? So, dividing naman, when you, when you divide a positive integer by a positive integer, it will give you the quotient of a positive integer. Same then kapag nag-divide ka ng negative and negative, your answer is always positive. So, tatandaan nyo yun guys ha, kapag nag-multiply ng same signs or nag-divide ng same signs or ng dalawang integers, again, dalawang integers sa pinag-uusapan natin dito, your answer is always positive. Now, sir, how about kapag different signs? Sa multiplying, ito yung scenario. When you multiply positive and negative, as you can see, the signs are different, your product is negative. Ganun din dito. If mauna yung negative, to be multiplied by a positive integer, your product is always negative. And as well as with the dividing integers. Positive divided by negative, magkaiba ng sign, the quotient is negative. Negative divided by a positive integer, it will give you the product or the, the quotient of a negative integer. So, I hope guys nakuha niyo yung mismong konsepto ng rules na meron ako dito on how to multiply and divide integers. If you're done with these rules, you're ready with the examples. Sabi dito, multiply and divide the following integers. In number 1, hanggang number 4, lahat ng ito ay multiplying integers. So let's start with number 1. Negative 6 times negative 4. Check nyo muna yung signs. This is negative and this is negative. Parehas. So your answer is positive. And ang gabi mo dyan, simply multiply 6 and 4. The answer is 24. So the product is 24 or positive 24. But in our case, since the sign is positive, you can erase this one because understood na yan na positive 24. And this is the answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. Negative 11 times 20. So as you can see, one is negative and the other is positive. Magkaiba. So nagay mo dito, negative. Because that is our rule. And 11 times 20, that will give you the answer of 220. This is the correct answer for item number 2, which is negative 220. Now, let's move on with item number 3. You have negative and 0. Sir, paano po yan? One of the integers is, one of the integers is 0. Guys, any number variable multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Ito na mismo yan. And, di ba na siya kabilis? For number 4, 
this will be your assignment. After this, after this video, you can comment down below your answer in number four, which is the question. It goes like this: negative seven times negative three. What is your answer, or what is the product of this given integers? Let's move on with item number five. For item number five, we have 67, 63 divided by nine. Again, sixty-three divided by nine. The two integers are positive, so the quotient mo ngayon ay positive. And what is 63 divided by 9? The answer is simply 7. So yung answer natin, your quotient natin for number 5 is simply positive 7 or 7. Box natin? Okay. Now let's move on with item number 6. For number 6, negative 88 divided by negative 8. Same sign, so positive tayo. And 88 divided by 8 is 11. So in other words, guys, the quotient for item number 6 is simply 11. We can erase the positive sign. Now let's move on with number 7. This is negative 21 divided by 3. Again, negative 21 divided by 3. So what you will do here is we will check the signs of these integers. Negative and positive, this is negative. Okay, this is negative. Now, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So the quotient of item number 7 is simply negative 7. And as for item number 8, we have 14 divided by negative 7. This will serve as your assignment. Bali guys, ang assignment nyo ay number 4 and number 8 wherein you will multiply and divide these integers. I hope guys na natuto kayo sa ating short video on how to multiply and divide integers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Dorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!